Hey, what's going on? Body Wisdom TV, episode six. Today, we're gonna talk about the joints. So we're moving up the body. We started at the feet. So hopefully you have some kind of tool for yourself as to what you want to create a healthy foot psychology. I love even saying that a foot psychology. So for your joints now, we're gonna start moving up the body. So you got your ankle joint, you got your knee joint. And what you'll notice about the joints in the body, and this goes for all joints, all of our joints, our shoulders, our hip joints, um, all are places where energy moves through. Joints are energy channels, so they move, they flow, they progress energy through the body. And the same thing goes for our psychology, right? So we progress through life, we flow through the motion of life. And so what ends up happening is when we get roadblocks, these are sort of like the intersections of our life, of our body, of our psychology. So when we hit roadblocks and we have forks in the road in our lives, the question is, how are we progressing through those roadblocks? And so um, there's so much that can go into this too. Obviously, all of this work, you know, uh, nutrition can be a big role in this as well. So if you're eating inflammatory, inflammatory foods, um, you are most likely clogging up um, and creating inflammation in your joints, which is no good to creating that in your psychology as well. So one of the very first things I always talk about with clients is, um, just what's your nutrition look like? And there's really no dogmatic approach that I want to go to on this, but just considering like, what are the foods that I'm putting in my body? Obviously like, you know, sugar. And there's so many other things we could talk about. We could have an entire, you know, job around this, like just the nutrition of it, but really, truly what's going on in your joints. If you feel like a grandpa or grandma about your joints, there is a potential that progress in your body that moving forward, that forward momentum, that creating synovial fluid, which is the lubricant of the joints in your body, in your life to create the lubrication to move forward, which again, synovial fluid, to move forward is difficult. And so in order for you to progress, the thing that you need to do is to move your darn joints, get some movement in there, get some hips in there, get some movement. So a lot of us, um, especially people that weight lift, this has been something I've been playing with lately is like when I weight lift that it's not this static, like creepy, like scarecrow type of thing that I'm like, I'm lifting up this dumbbell, but instead that it's like, that it, there's a fluidity to it, that it's like, oh, I'm expanding and I'm, opening you know I'm imagining here like I have like a um, like a cable set here and I'm just like pulling it and it's this like beautiful rhythmic motion almost like I'm orchestrating because that's how I want to flow in my body I want my joints to feel so fluid and open so that I can you know I can open up space and then execute um, is really what I'm wanting to create in my in my personal um, workout regimen. So for this episode, I want you to consider how is the progress of your life going and how open are you to that progression as it's moving forward and how do your joints feel? Um, it's really, really important stuff. So honestly, if it means walking more, if it means doing more yoga, um, that all of that is incredibly important. So I think that the psychological thing to take away here is... Um, personal tension, and I'm getting this directly from uh, Body Mind here, is um, a lot of times individuals are involved in a considerable degree of personal tension concerning this aspect of progress or resistance to progress in their life. So basically, is there tension for you around progress? Anyways, that is it. Episode six, joints. Um, super, super interesting stuff. So I'm curious for you, what is your roadblock? What are the places for you in which you are finding tension? And I will catch you next week. Have a lovely, lovely day. Peace.